For three decades before my election, drug overdose deaths increased every single year. Under my leadership, we took the drug and fentanyl crisis head-on, and we achieved the first reduction in overdose deaths in more than 30 years. I also proudly signed the Support Act, the largest investment ever in combating the opioid epidemic. Sadly, under Joe Biden, our hard-won progress has been surrendered along with the surrender of our southern border. It's such a shame. Now, fentanyl and other ultra-deadly poisons are pouring into our country unchecked, stealing more than 100,000 American lives every single year. And many people think that real number is three to 400,000. Joe Biden's record is one of death, destruction, and misery in communities all across our nation. When I'm back in the White House, I will take action on day one to end this horrific plague and save American lives. Joe Biden will never solve the drug overdose crisis because he is actively destroying our border. What he has done to our border, we had the safest border in the history of our country, and now we have the worst border probably anywhere in the world, including third world countries. That's why I have previously announced I will impose a full naval embargo on the drug cartels and deploy military assets to inflict maximum damage on cartel operations. I will insist on the full cooperation of neighboring governments to dismantle the trafficking and smuggling networks in our region. And I will ask Congress to ensure that drug dealers, kingpins, and human traffickers receive the death penalty. At the same time, I will direct federal law enforcement here in the United States to take down the gangs and organized street crime that distribute these deadly narcotics on a local level. They are killing our people. They are poisoning our beautiful children. I will permanently designate fentanyl as a federally controlled substance. And I will tell China that if they do not clamp down on the export of fentanyl's chemical precursors, they will pay a steep price. I had a deal worked out with President Xi. They weren't going to be sending any more, and they were going to impose the death penalty on those that made it in China. But with a rigged election, that ended. Attacking the supply of these deadly drugs will be just the beginning. We must also do more to end the scourge of addiction here at home. Among the most important steps we can take is to strengthen the pillars that give life, meaning, and hope for those struggling with addiction, particular work, faith, and family. We need work, faith, and family. My administration will support measures to make it easier for those suffering from addiction to seek treatment without losing their jobs. We will forge new public-private partnerships for companies willing to provide job opportunities and skills training for former addicts. We will expand federal support for faith-based counseling, treatment, and recovery programs, recognizing that we are going to need God's help to steer our country out of this crisis. Finally, we will ensure that if a parent, child, spouse, or other relative needs to take time to care for a loved one fighting to overcome addiction, they are more easily able to take advantage of the family leave program, so important. When I'm president, we will not rest until we have ended the drug addiction crisis in America. We will win. It will happen. We have to win, though, in 2024, because our country is going to hell. Thank you.